If you love the ISUPK, stay in the loop. Go to Google Play and download the new user-friendly One West ISUPK app and get exclusive footage to our online classes and street speaking videos. Also, the Black Watch podcast, hosted by Commanding General Yohanna, the leader of the Nation of Israel. It's real easy to stay in tune with the ISUPK and the information we're putting out. Just go to Google Play and type in One West UPK app and hit download. Let's get it in. Don't be left out. Shalom, DC. We are the ISUPK. Started out of 1 West, 125th Street, Harlem, New York, under commanding General Yohanna. We are here to teach that the so-called blacks, Native Americans, and Hispanics are the 12 tribes of Israel. That's right. The Jews that the Bible speaks of. That's right. If anybody can remember, the reason why we are destroyed, you remember up on 14th Street years ago in the 80s and the 90s, after the 60s riots, 14th Street looked like a hell zone, a war zone. With all the gentrification and everything that happened uptown, we still destroyed. Why? Because we ain't following the laws or statutes and commandments of the Most High. That's why brothers and sisters over there at the Tyler House and what's left of certain quarters, they still die. They still getting shot. Read that. The book of Matthew, chapter 5. Verse 17, think not that I have come to destroy the law. Think not that I have come to destroy the law. Your Christian pastors to tell you that the law is done away with. This is Christ speaking. It's in red in the Bible. The same Bible that you got in your house. It's your grandmother got. It's your grandfather got. Think not that I've come to destroy the law. To destroy the law. But your Christian pastor will tell you the law is done away with. If you just pray over that pork, you will be all right. No. All the prophets, I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. But to fulfill. Christ said he come to fulfill the whole law. Not a little bit of it, not, a little, not half of it, but the whole law. But your Christian pastors keep telling you that it's done away with. Right. Or you can just do a little bit here and there. Right. While you give them your money, that's not even time money, that's pimp money to a hoe. Verse 18, for verily I say unto you, verily, meaning surely, Christ say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, till heaven and earth pass, one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the Lord. That means one jot, a dot over the eye, or one tittle, a crossing of the T. That means he ain't into a one dot and one tittle, he's still going to fulfill the law forever. And once you keep breaking the law, we're gonna keep, we keep dying. Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. That's why we keep dying. Because we keep breaking the law, the biblical law. And America's law will get you killed. Let me get uh, Matthew. Slot. Verse 18, for verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law till all be fulfilled. Whosoever therefore shall, shall break one of these least commandments. And shall Who whosoever shall break one of these least commandments, meaning the Israelites, not the heathens, but us, our people, so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians. You don't. Verse 19, for whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments and shall teach men so, he shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. If you break one of the least commandments, you, Salakia, if you, if you, Salakia, if you, if you break the law and you teach our people that they should do away with the law, one of the least commandments, you will be least in, in the kingdom. The heathen, 
Indians. The white man teaches us to break the law. The East Indians, the Ethiopians, the Africans, which all of our people keep thinking that we African and we not. The Most High say if you are homosexual, that is illegal. It's a sin. But the pastors say it's okay. God said not to eat pork. But the pastors say it's okay. Do not eat pork, shrimp, crab, lobster. We got a dietary law in the Bible. You're not supposed to have sex with no other man's woman. But the pastor, being how foul he is, he'll have sex with every woman that come in front of him. He is the deceiver. And the white man is paying him. They both are deceiving us. Our oppressor is the devil that the Bible speaks of. The Bible says that the pastor will be the least in the kingdom of heaven. Because he's teaching us to break the laws of the Most High. And, and, and while the brothers get the scripture, like I was saying, we so destroyed. Uptown, Northeast, Southeast, and Southwest. Why? Because we keep putting our faith in these stinking Christian churches. And we keep breaking the laws of the Most High. First John chapter 2, verse 3. And hereby we do know that we know him if we keep his commandments. We do know him if we keep his commandments. We do know the Most High if we keep the commandments. Not if we break them. If we break them, we do not know him. We are clearly showing that we don't know the Most High by breaking them. Read on, brother. Verse 4. He that saith, I know him, and keepeth not his commandments. And keepeth not his commandments. So if you say you know the Most High, and you keep not the commandments, is a liar. You are a liar. We are liars if we don't keep the law, statutes, and commandments. And the truth is not in him. And the truth is not in him. How can the truth be in you when the Most High told you to do something and you want to do the opposite? The truth is not in you. And you teach our people not to do what the Most High said. Right. While the brothers get the scripture, we, we, we are constantly dying because we keep disrespecting the law. There is, there is no way out of this if we keep sinning against the Most High. There is no way out of this. The only way we can come back to the Most High is following these law, statutes, and commandments in this book right here, the Bible, that the, that the oppressor teaches that's not our history. But it is. Every answer that we always wanted Every answer to every question that we always wanted is right here in the scriptures. We wrote the book of Romans, chapter 6, verse 1. What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin? What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin? That grace may abound? That grace may abound. If we can, this is a question that's being asked. So shall we continue in sin? God forbid. God forbid. How shall we that are dead to sin live any longer therein? How can we live if we keep sinning? That's not the way to live. If we keep sinning, we only promise more death and more death. Slavery on top of slavery. Oppression against uh, on top of oppression. Read that, brother. The book of Romans, chapter 6, verse 15. What then? Shall we sin because we are not under the law, but under grace? God forbid. God forbid. Once again, God forbid. God forbid. If we do not follow these laws, statutes, and commandments, God forbid. We are going to die. That's just like we keep doing. How many people, how many of our brothers and sisters keep on suffering and don't even know why? We always wondering how and why. Why and how do we keep suffering? 
I'll show you. Because we don't follow the laws, statutes, and commandments in this Bible right here. If we follow them, then we'll have life. We will live. But we keep breaking them, we're gonna keep, we're gonna keep dying. The book of 1 John, chapter 3, verse 4. Whosoever committeth sin transgresseth also the law. Whosoever committeth sin transgress the law. That's what sin is, a transgression of the law. So when you sin, you are transgressing the law. That's only for blacks, Native Americans, and Hispanics. Nobody else. If you're not on this 12 tribe chart, you do not matter to the Most High. You, you never have mattered to the Most High. For sin is the transgression of the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. You can't go out here and do what you want to do. If you are a child of the Most High, you got rules, you got laws, statutes, and commandments that you got to follow. And if you don't follow them, you're going to end up like brothers that's been dying for over 30 years now in these streets in D.C. Uptown, Southside, and everywhere else. <laughs> so this, so this, this is the sinful ways that we do follow and keep getting a shot and keep getting a stab. Our sisters keep aborting their babies. The little kids, our kids. <clears throat> we keep getting molested by the oppressor because we give our children away to him. You keep going to these Christian churches, that's what's going to happen. Constantly going in and out the Christian church, never getting a solution for nothing. But all you're doing is dumping your money off to the pimp. And he is a pimp. And you know he is. We know he is. The reason why we are oppressed in this kingdom right here is because of our oppressor, which is the white man. And our oppressor is the devil, if you've never heard it before. Our oppressor is the devil, who is the white man. We. The book of Romans chapter 9, verse 13. As it is written, Jacob have I loved. As it is written, Jacob is the forefather of the 12 tribes of Israel right here on this side. Jacob, whose name was later changed to Israel. It said, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. But Esau have I hated. Esau is the biblical nationality of that white man right. that you know of, that chocolate died. Right. Verse 14, what shall we say then? Verse 13, as it is written, Jacob have I loved. Jacob have I loved for all the people out here, for all of our people that don't believe that the white man is the oppressor and is the devil. This is what the Most High think of us and him. But Esau have I hated. Hated what? But Esau have I hated. But Esau have I hated. The Most High hates Esau, and Esau knows it. That's why he is oppressed. He is oppressing the 12 tribes. He can't stand us. He can't stand to see us. Even in our oppressive state, we still are better than him. We always have been. It always will be. Esau is the devil that the Bible speaks of. That's right. Salaki. Come on, come. How they oppress us? How did he oppress us? By shoving drugs in our community. A lot of brothers out here know, back in the 80s, you seen the drugs come in. You grew, if you grew up in the jungle years, you know what I'm talking about. You seen the drugs come in, you seen all the brothers turning to hustlers, and they destroyed our whole community. And then the 90s came. All the wars came then, right after that. It was still wars in the 80s, but in the 90s you seen the, all the wars, all the neighborhood wars, they, 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 they went to its height. That was at the highest in D.C. and all over the country. But I'm speaking right here. You seen all the neighborhoods turn against each other. Uptown fighting uptown. Southside fighting Southside to the death. 
And why? Because of the white man who is the devil that the Bible speaks of. Why are we so oppressed? Because of all these nations that came in here. Esau will allow other nations to come in here and destroy us as well, just to make sure we don't get on top. If you love the ISUPK, stay in the loop. Go to Google Play and download the new user-friendly One West ISUPK app and get exclusive footage to our online classes and street speaking videos. Also, the Black Watch podcast hosted by commanding General Yohanna, the leader of the nation of Israel. It's real easy to stay in tune with the ISUPK and the information we're putting out. Just go to Google Play and type in One West UPK app and hit download. Let's get it in. Don't be left out.